This procedure delineates propagation of normal ovarian and oviductal epithelial cells as a three-dimensional organ culture. First, dissect the ovary, oviduct, fat pad, and part of the uterus from a mouse. Then remove the bursa and dissect apart the oviductal membranes with a pair of forceps and cut each ovary or oviduct into two to four pieces, termed organoids. Finally, encapsulate the organoid in an alginate droplet on a piece of mesh fiber. As OSC and TEC cultured in defined media retain normal cell characteristics in their native three-dimensional architecture, immunohistochemistry on tissue sections, RNA analysis, and protein analysis can provide insights into the impact of OSC and TEC in ovarian cancer. The main advantage of this technique as compared to traditional two-dimensional immortalized cellular culture is that the cells can be grown in contact with the underlying extracellular matrix and stromal cells without genetic immortalization that could alter cellular pathways. This method can help answer key questions in the ovarian cancer field, such as defining early events in cancer formation and determining from which cell type serous ovarian cancers arise. Though this method can provide insight into ovarian cancer, it can also be applied to other systems, such as ovarian follicle culture and pancreatic beta islet culture. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because removal of the bursa and oviductal membranes without damaging the ovaries and oviduct is challenging. First, prepare a 0.5% solution of alginate in sterile PBS and heat to 37 degrees Celsius. Mix by inversion or rocking. Then draw the alginate into a 1 milliliter syringe with a 25 gauge needle and maintain.